What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Blufus's brother. Um, he recently was charged with uh, like theft and firearm charges. And the lady who I guess he was into it with, she told her story yesterday on Blue Rock TV, so we're going to react to it. That's all I got for now. Let's get it. And let me say this. Whatever you want to ask me, ask me. I'm an open book. Um, I don't lie. I don't sugarcoat anything. Um, very blunt and forward. I will try my best to watch my mouth. Um, I'm very passionate about things that I talk about and, and touch up on. So please forgive me in advance. Well, we just, again, you know, we, we definitely thank you um, for being here and taking time out of your busy schedule, you know. Um, so we really appreciate it. Um, so yes, we're going to start at the beginning. And so what we want to know is how did you and Andre actually meet and, and when, you know, when did, how did you meet and when? Um, Andre, I, I'm, I'm going to shorten it for Dre. Dre and I actually met on Instagram back in 2019, 2020 per se. And, um, as you, you all can see, I'm an attractive person person and um he's really into herself she said a couple other things earlier but yeah he inboxed me and it was just some small child like hey who are you you're beautiful woo, woo, woo. and i can't even tell you exactly verbatim word by word because i deleted the chats um but it was like you know i would like to get to know you blase blase i'm like okay cool so he, i'm like who are you though so he was like you wouldn't believe me if i told you and uh, you're welcome. I'm, I'm going to share this story one time, y'all. And I'm not going to talk about it again. I'm going to let this RIP. But um, he basically wanted to know who I was, what have you. And so um, he was like, you wouldn't believe who I am. I'm like, well, who are you? Because I'm looking through the pictures. I see you sitting next to Blue, but that can be anything. And so um, he was like, I'm Blue Face Brother. I'm like, oh, okay, that's what's up. So it made Not you'll never believe me. Me Leary right there. Look just like the nigga. Because... <laughs> I never want to talk to someone because of somebody else's fame. You know what I mean? I want to talk mm -hmm. to you, who you are, what you stand for. And so um, I'm like, okay. So he was like, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll be in Bakersfield. So when he said Bakersfield, I'm like, okay, well, you know a little bit about the town. So he started naming people. I'm like, yeah, I know a few of these people. He was naming little places here in town and, um, he named a particular street. So I'm like, yeah, I'm familiar with that street. So he was like, what's up? Can I meet you? So I'm like, like now? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, we all have a meeting point. Immediately, no. Why are we doing that? Because I don't know you. You know what I mean? So we linked up and, and we walked the, the park that we met up at and we were talking in this particular day. It was supposed to be in like uh, spring or so. It was actually cold that night and he had on a, a wife beater tank top. And I'm like, where your sweater at? Like, you don't know about Bakersfield? Like the weather's crazy here. It's not like LA. So um, we end up going back to his studio that he showed me. Now, I don't know if this is his studio or not. However, I was really inspired seeing this young black man, um, entrepreneur, not really taking the, flame, the, the credit or the clout or the fame that his brother has, but just persuade us uh, perspiring going forward in life like he wanted something and not out here doing perswang entrepreneur not really taking the flame the the credit or the clout or the fame that his brother has but just pers pers uh, perspiring going forward in life like <laughs> he wanted something and not out here doing what why we're here but it was just really inspiring knowing that, okay, he's an entrepreneur. I stepped into entrepreneurship. Um, he's motivated. And I, I like that. You know, it was very intriguing because it's a different tune. It's a different conversation compared to some of the gentlemen that I come across in my life. So uh, we hung out until like the next morning, until the sun came up. And it till the sun came up is crazy work. Oh, uh, y'all crazy for just meeting these crazy ass men, women too, but come on now. Just the conversation was just amazing. You know, just a cool person. He shared a little backstory about how he went to prison or what have you, did like 17 years. And just his mindset at that time was very like different. It, it was cool. It was like, 
he wants something. He doesn't want to be a registered felon who's blue face brother. You get what I'm saying? So it, it was just, I think that's how we started off. Um, throughout time. Now, one thing about me, I want to get this clear. I chase no man. Okay. I'm not the first one to call. I'm not the first one to text. Okay. If that's the case, I'm always have my phone in my hand and the list goes on. So he would always hit me up. So that's how me and him kind of stayed in contact because I never wanted him to think that I was chasing him or wanted him because of his brother. That was never the case. All right. All right. So, so now I guess, you know, just to make sure I understood that correctly, you met him um, on IG. Was it the same night that y'all went for that walk or? Yeah, it was pretty much that same night because my, my schedule was, I was available. Um, like I said, I run a business and at that time. What I don't like about it already is like he knew where she lived. Uh, Cause at least from what she's saying, she like, he was like, yeah, I'm in Bakersville. Honey's house. Mango ready. Oh, okay. Oh, upstream at the pet smart. Yeah. They asking you to get some type of food that he need. Um, they're going to tell you what kind you just don't get the most because you know how wasteful he is. I don't know what kind it is, but some dietary food. Girl, I forgot. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I was moving, you know, it caused a rift in my family because I'm growing a business. You know, I wanted to retire my children before they even turned 18. So I was out there basically working hard and being a black woman. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> he knew where she lived because it sounded like to me she didn't say, hey, I'm in Bakersville. It sounded like he was like, I'm over here in Bakersville, at least from what she made it sound like. So I had to really put in that work and I did. And I'm glad that I did because I met some amazing people. So I had the time to go meet up with him. We met up, we hung out. From there, it just cracked off. And then he just started showing a little different sides of him. And I'm like, dude, like, what's, what's your issue? But now, moving forward, I see what the issue is. He's shale. So when you say different sides, like, can so, you expound so, on what do you mean? Yes. Um, My name? We was having a conversation and he just spazzed out. Like, I don't want to be in no relationship. Like, just tripping. I'm like, hold on, bro. Like, I don't want to be in a relationship either. I've been single since 2016. I'm not ready for a relationship. Because and then these, these niggas meet you and then court you and then do all this. And then I, I don't want to be in no relationship. I never wanted to. Like, nigga, move then. So what I'm doing is I'm healing. But along the way, along your journey you know, people come across your path to help you with your healing. You know what I mean? So I'm like, where do you get this from? I'm not pressuring you to be in a relationship with you. Like when you come to town, you bang my line. You know what I mean? So don't ever think one second, I want to be in a relationship with you. We just cool. You know, you just, just, we just cool. It ain't nothing like that. It'll never be nothing like that. Got it. So when you said these um like spaz out or flip out started to happen, like how soon after knowing him was it like that? Did um, you say it's pretty soon or it was pretty much like pretty soon. So that made me turn <laughs> and then he was just immediate with it. <laughs> My cheek, like I'm cool. Like I'm good. I don't need this type of attitude or this type of behavior when we're just we're just cool we're just friends there's no need for that so obviously there is a deeper rooted issue there uh -huh. that you're gonna have to fix before i let you in my safe haven before i allow your negative energy to negify my energy so you you can kick rocks bye later and, and so now i know I know also when you and I spoke a bit in the background um, you know, about the review that we did here on Blue Rock TV um about the, you know, the report and stuff. Um, we had somebody up, uh, Jazzy at the time, right? Uh she's here, she's in the comments, you know, that's her. She's saying that she's listening. I don't know if you want to say hi, but Hello, Jazzy. <laughs> just wanted to let you know Jazzy's here. Jazzy, you know, I, I think um throughout the interview at some point, um, I think Miss Armstrong just wanted to clarify some of the things that were being said, you know. So I think that's good as well because like we said, you know, 
everybody has their opinions, right? There was a bunch of different opinions on throughout our review, our review rather, right? Right. Um, and again, Miss Armstrong, I thank you again for taking the time to come on here and let us know your side, but also, you know, taking the time to watch the review that we did about the situation, just so that, you know, you had an idea of what the what the viewers had saw as well and, and what they heard, you know, so that way we can kind of all come back here at the table and have a, a really good informative uh, type conversation, right? Um, so I think so far we kind of understand, you know, how you guys met. You met on IG. You said it was back in 2019, if I'm correct. You know, y'all kind of, you know, went ahead, started, you know, I guess, chilling with each other here and there, you know, having some conversations at the table at times. Um, and it seems as if Andre started to freak out thinking that maybe he thought you thought that y'all was going to move into a next stage or something. But you were like, nah, B, don't worry. You know, I got this as much as you got this. We're good. You know, just calm down right yeah. does that summarize it pretty well yeah um, pretty all right cool so now you know and and i think the chat wants to know as well but before we even get into some of the things that you may have found out may have not known as of yet um go ahead chat you know there's 295 of you almost 300 so far go ahead hit that like button you know and um, keep dropping those blue diamonds and those teacups in the chat um miss armstrong as she said earlier and i mean I ain't going to lie to you. I was going to say, be careful when you tell the people that you're down for all sorts of questions, because sometimes this chat gets real spicy and sometimes they're going to be asking questions that you're like, damn, did I really tell them I'm open for anything? Um, so y'all, you know, like I always say on every show, be respectful in the chat, be respectful to our guests, be respectful to the host. You know, you can share your opinions on whichever, you know, way you feel. I love the way Blue Rock TV interviews. I just thought that you should know that, friend. You do amazing. About the situation, but we do ask that we be respectful. We're all, hopefully we're all adults. We're all grown adults in here. You know, if you're not an adult, go talk to your mom or dad or somebody. But um, at this point, you know, hopefully we are and we can have that type of, you know, conversation around, you know, serious matters like this without it getting wild and goofy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, um. Know. Yeah, now that we understand more about y'all and, and, you know, how you met in your relationship, right? Um, did you know he was married? And if not, um, when was it around that you, you found out or, or that you heard about it? Okay, so for one, I want to clear the air on that situation. I never sure. knew Andre was Andre and I never had that type of conversation about if we were involved with someone or if we were in a relationship or a situationship due to that nature, I never knew anything about his personal life um, in that aspect because I do respect people's privacy. However, we weren't on that level like we were lovers for me to even question that type of situation that he had going on. I learned of him being married after the situation that happened with the gun um, I happen to get on TikTok. Do you have a TikTok, Blue Rock? Yeah, we do. Okay, so I so happened, you know, God was sending you messages when you're not even expecting it. I just opened up TikTok, and I believe it was your page stating that Andre was married. And I was like, what the heck? Not only did you steal my gun, but you hit that you was married. Like, I would have never. So 2019 is when they met. 2024 is when we talking about the gun. 2024 is when we find out he's married. Entertain this. You know what I mean? I would have never entertained this. So I called my girls like, hey, he's married. Like, what the heck? What if this get out and blow up? Now I look like I'm the mistress. I don't want to be labeled as no mistress. You know what I mean? Like, this is embarrassing. And it's, it's, it's like defamation of character. I don't even get down like that. So I never knew the man was married. Let me tell you what he told me. Dre used to tell me that he's going back and forth to court. That's why he was in Bakersfield a lot. He was going back and forth to court to get custody of his child. So when all this came down, I'm like, Dre, you're homeless. How are you going to get custody of your child? I'm, you know, you know no disrespect. We do have fall on bad times and bad terms in life. But no judge is going to see you fit to take that child away from her mother who can offer stability. Like it never in life, especially him, where he was speaking on the internet. Y'all, that internet catch up to you, boy. Like, let's make it make sense. And so when I found out that he was married, I was really disappointed. Like, we were cool. You couldn't tell me this? 
you don't make no decision for me. You know what I mean? So it was like a slap in the face, but I never knew the man was married. I, I, he, the way he made it seem, he had beef with his baby mama or his wife. That's not my character. I don't, I don't play like that. God well, he me. did have beef with her, but <clears throat> they was married. I don't bless no man. Clearly she didn't know. Yes. Uh, Latrice, did you have a follow-up question? Yeah. I, I do, so but I just I wanted to check. Right. So I wanted to go back to your saying that he immediately told you in the beginning, I mean, you know, that he you would get the signs of him saying, you know, that you guys, he didn't want a relationship or he didn't want to be in a relationship or anything like that. So if he started showing those signs in the beginning, um, so I want to ask, how often would you see each other and if he so if so he he showed those signs, mm -hmm. how often would you see each other after that? And how did it go from him saying, "I don't want to be a relationship"? How did it get from there to leading up to the point where he was staying in your apartment and the situation took place? Oh, he ended up staying. Okay, this this tea is getting getting spicy. Okay, so for that, when he displayed the whole relationship thing, I fell back because for one, you're not going to get at me like that. You're not going to talk to me like that. I don't need, and I, I hate to say this, but I don't need a man present for me to be who I am or live my life. I don't think we should hate me. to say that. Don't know men add to me or they're not going to take away from me. And I don't have to deal with that type of behavior. So I fell back. Like you got some personal issues going on. You go ahead and handle that. Once you free yourself of that, once again, me and Dre did not have that type of relationship as if we were in a relationship or we were towards that. Right now, Dre, once again, 2019, 2020, we're talking about 2023. I felt comfortable enough for Andre to be in my house. Um, and 2023 that's what led up to the situation. Typically, it will be months that go by before I want to hear that one more time. Relationship or we were towards that. Now, Dre, once again, 2019, 2020, we're talking about 2023. I felt comfortable enough for Andre to be in my house. Um, and that's what led up to the situation. Typically, it will be months that go by before we even see each other when he all this was on the internet around 2023 yeah that was just last year a lot of it was just last year and he was talking about his wife and things like that so maybe she wasn't on the internet because in 2023 what made you let him stay with you i'm gonna let her talk came into town he will let me know and a lot of times I couldn't see him because I do have a life. You know what I mean? And my thing is don't hit me up at last minute and tell me, hey, I'm here. You knew when you were driving on the nine, the five to the 99 going north, you knew you were coming to Bakersfield. Give me a heads up so I can arrange my schedule so we can just hang up, you know, hang out and wrap <coughs> it up. But it was never, oh, I'm in town. I'm running to you or you coming over here. It was never like that. We've only hung out at like a, a handful of times, you know, if we're going to keep it real. If y'all hung out a handful of times, what made her comfortable with him being in a crib? Okay, so it so just a quick question. In in the handful of times on how long was it that you guys had known each other or, or been talking? At least a, a few years by then. I mean, we established a friendship. I mean, we established some trust there because I'm not going to leave you in my house. Like, I'm, I'm not about to do that. Okay. Now, I wanted to go back to a question about um, finding out that he was married, right? Um, so Let me close when my you found blinds. Out he was married, I just wanted to clarify, like, when was that? Was that after the whole altar, like, stuff? Yes, that was so after. So this was pretty much after you were done with him? Yes. Well, let me clear this up. Done with okay. him. <laughs> you know you know what I mean, but it's good that you clarify the, right. the word choices. It's good, yeah. Yes, yes. It, it happened many months after when he stole my firearm that um, I recently found out that he was married. Okay. Firearm that um, I recently found out that he was married. You know what I mean? Well, let me clear this up. Done with okay. him.
<laughs> you know, you know what I mean. But it's good that you clarify the right. the word choices. She is downplaying it like she never talked to him like in no other form than that's my friend. Good, yeah. Yes, yes. It, it happened many months after when he stole my firearm that um, I recently found out that he was married. Okay, so um, all right, Trace. Any follow up questions? Do y'all believe that right now or? Um. Yeah, I think I'm just trying to piece it, trying to piece it together. So that math ain't math. So, so again, how? So you are saying how often would you guys see each other after that? So it wasn't very often. Is that no. is that what you're saying? No, it was not very often. It was once every blue moon once every few months but he would ch chop it up with me over the phone it was never a situation where we were always with each other all the time and always on the phone and always texting it was not like that between him and I and was the the when you did get together was it strictly platonic or were you know were there feelings of you know were y'all feeling each other a little bit or primarily platonic um, well, as you can see, I'm attractive. I mean, that's a question you're going to have to ask. Like, she really full of herself. It's about her third or fourth time saying she look good. We know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Ask him, but yeah, it was, it was some type of, I'm not going to say feelings. It takes a long time for me to even catch a feeling let alone like a cool vibe i'm very stubborn i have a wall blocked up i'd hardly let anybody in and i wouldn't even i'm gonna keep it real with you trees i wouldn't even do this interview but i did not like some of the things that were stated or said about me you know per se so i'm just clearing up the air this is the last time i'm going to discuss this you know about the whole situation between yeah. Ray that happened um I, I'll keep it real with you. I have a roster, okay? I'm not tr tripping off Dre. I'm not sweating off Dre. There's plenty of men out there who can give me the time, the affection, and the need. But at still, at that same token, I don't allow anybody in. Obviously, I trusted Dre to leave him at the house to just pick up a few items mm -hmm. at the store, and my my gun was stolen. We'll touch it. We'll we'll get on that later. Okay, so she allowed him to go to the crib to get whatever it is that she needed him to get, and he stole her gun. But it wasn't something that, you know, when you really like somebody, you really vibing with them, and that's all you could think about, and that's who you want to talk to, and the song reminds you of that person. It was never like that between me and Dre. It was, that's hey, I'm in town, let's, let's, you know, come by, see me, or can I come see you type of ordeal. And that's what it was. That's that's how we was able to get this far because what I don't like, I don't like pressure from a man. I don't like the feeling like I'm in a relationship if we're not in a relationship. I'm not going to give you that title or that energy when we're not even on that. You get what I'm saying? So we was never anything. Got it. Got it. All right. So, so I, I guess I hear what you're saying. So throughout the couple of years or whatever, it's like, you know, we talk here and there throughout the phone, whatever, you know, messages, whatever, if he shows up and we chill, if he's in the area, we chill, whatever, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Excuse me. But it wasn't per se anything that you felt, you know, strongly emotionally tied to or, or a relationship that you were, you know, I, I think like you said before, you're more entrepreneur focused, you're trying to, and that's where your goal was. Right. Um, right. But in the midst of this, you were kind of talking to me. Like you said, he was part of your roster, I think you had said at one point, right? All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> we got that. Cool. Now, um, so help so I guess we understand the dynamics of all that, right? So help us now. I think it's I think it's good enough for us to get now to, you know, the moment the point. that you know he came that day and and then the you know, whatever led to this report. The point. Right? Okay. Um now, Mr. Armstrong, I know you said you wanted me to pull up the report at some point. Um, let me know in your in you telling whatever you're telling if and when you want me to do that, okay? Um, sure. But perhaps take us to that day. Like, take us first before we even get to that day. Take us to the time that you guys were planning that day. What did it look like? Was that spontaneous as well? You know, perhaps take us there. Okay. Um, so this particular day, I was home. I had moved uh, from an apartment into a house. And um, at the time, I was the only person in the home 
Um, so I know a lot of people are asking, why did I leave the gun out? Don't I have kids? Yes, I do. I have two children. However, my children know better. It's other people's kids that don't know how to stop touching stuff. But um, I was at home. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt your flow, but um, at this point, just for YouTube policies and stuff, um, if we can just refer oh. to it as property just gotcha. for now, because I think they know what it is. <laughs> gotcha. Thank you. I appreciate you. Was on the dresser. So I've been at home for a couple of days and um, cleaning up, doing my normal routine that I do. And I got a call from Dre like, hey, what's up? You know, I want to come see him. Like, OK, he was like, well, I'll be there in a minute. I'm like, hold on. So this like, damn, nigga. You don't even let me know you here. Like this happened back in July. I moved into my house in May. So this lets you know that I don't talk to him very often because he said he was going to pull up. Where are you pulling up to? I don't live there anymore. So um, he wanted to come over. I sent him the address. I said, I live here. Just let me know when you get here. Because typically the front door is on the other side of the house and I wouldn't hear you. So I'm at home chilling, relaxing. The personal property was on the dresser. Uh, he asked me if I was hungry. He brought me some food and we chilled, watch TV. I'm doing laundry, what have you, end up taking a nap, going to sleep. And then um, I end up getting up and I was like, dang, you could sleep all day. I can't do that. I got too much stuff to do. He was like, I'm just really tired. It's a lot going on what have you and the game so had like, no okay, sleep well get your rest and this is just the type of person i am and the type of friend that i am to anybody my doors is open to anyone who needs that safe haven and i felt like that's what he needed at that moment so i politely shut the door and continued doing what i was doing well he woke wake up and he's like you know i'm hungry but i gotta finish this paper so i'm like you go to school now he's like yeah i go to school i'm like okay good for you so he was like, you got a computer I can use? I said, no, but I got an iPad and I got a Chromebook. So he's like, okay, well, it's okay. I'll just stay on the phone. So in the midst of this, the sun goes down. He's like, I'm, I'm really hungry. So I'm like, okay, well, what is it that you want? Do you want me to cook something? He was like, yeah, can you make X, Y, and Z? I think he wanted some spaghetti. I'm like, out of all things, you want some spaghetti? Okay, Nigga. cool. I could cook, y'all. But I'm like, you want some spaghetti? All right, got you. I said, well, look, I have to run to the store because I don't have everything. I also don't have no money. So he was like, well, I'll shoot you some bread so you can go to the store real quick, get what you need. So I'm like, okay, cool. He gets up, take a shower. I'm finishing up what I'm doing. So he had bread to shoot. I'm walking <clears throat> back and forth. My personal property is on my dresser where it has been and have not moved from in so many days. I see it. I know it's there. I remember placing it there, but I felt like you've been over my house numerous of times. Nothing's came up missing before. So why Sir, did I before you before you move on there? I think I don't know if you want to clarify this, but somebody is under the impression that um, your children are there at this time. No. So like I exactly. stated before, I was yeah. the only person at home. Exactly. And a stranger, this is someone I've been kind of knowing of or being around for a couple of years, so he wasn't a stranger to me. Not necessarily being around in a private setting sound like to 2023, though. <laughs> Met him 2019, kicked it with him 2019. Kind of made it seem like we was just texting for that next couple of years, and then he pops up 2023 the way she's saying it. Am I tripping? I would never leave a man in the home where my children are at the same time that I am. And this person is there. That's ludicrous to me. And I have boys. It's the way my boys would have tore his tail up. Like, who are you? What you doing here? My kids would have made him feel so uncomfortable. They, he wouldn't have wanted to stay. So I was, I was home alone during the time Dre was at my home. And once again, my children, I, I have no man around my kids. I've been away from their father since 2016. That's going on nine years. My children only met one man that I've dealt with this whole time. Me and their father has been broken up. I don't run that type of show. That creates trauma. Come on, friend. You got a roster. So how we how we supposed to know? You know what I'm and saying? That's a trigger for uh, a lot of us. You know, I'm still like that with my parents. I'm almost 40 years old. So I don't have just any and anybody around my friends, nor my family. 
not even my home. So Dre was someone I trusted. And I hope that answers her question. Yeah, no, I hear that. You know, um, I think some people um, in the chat are just kind of highlighting the idea that, you know, you, you know, I think they're having a hard time connecting the idea that you weren't as interested or, or head over heels over him. Like you were maintaining, you know, your dignity, your respect, the way that you do, I guess, when it comes to checking somebody and talking to somebody. Um, I think they're kind of mixing that up with the idea of, you know, you having somebody at your house and because I don't think you were saying you didn't care for him at all. I think you were just trying to give your perspective of. No, she keep kind of downplaying him as the problem. It's like, nah, I wasn't like that. I don't like, you know what I'm saying? How, you know, you felt in, in your way of like, you know, approaching him or approaching what you guys had. Right. Um, so, so ideally you have this person at your house, you, you, you know, you're, you're about to make plans with them to, to have dinner, I guess. So, so what else happens? You have to go and, and get the ingredients, I think, or. Yeah. Let me, let me explain this. I don't go over people houses. Dre didn't even have nowhere for me to even hang out with him at. He lost the studio. He, he lost the, whatever he had, he got dropped off at my house. He had a car. He don't no longer have that car anymore from my understanding. So it wasn't like he had somewhere for me to visit. So therefore it's in the middle of July, it's in the middle of the summer, it's hot as heck. Where are we going? Where are we going? So that's why a hotel or something. Dre was allowed to come over my house and at the end, at, at, and I still had housework that I needed to take care of. You get what I'm saying? So I didn't want to stop what I was doing to go hang out with him. No, you could come over here. I mean, it's cool. It's just you and I, you know, I never thought that he would take my personal possession, what have you, but you can't put nothing past anybody. And this is a lesson learned. So yes. So let me get back to the story. So like I said, I've walked by the dresser numerous of times. One of the tall dressers wasn't a nightstand. It was one of the tall dressers and I'm walking back and forth and um, I see my personal possession there. Um, he asked me to go to the store. Okay, cool. Well, I need some money. He sent me some money to go to the store to get a couple of ingredients. Um, in the midst of this, I looked at what we're talking about and he said, hey, um, he distracted me because I was getting ready to reach for it and put it in my purse. But I, I, I assume that he had a plan all along. The, I believe the plan was I let me get mouse. you out of my sight. Can you get my Nike thing? I didn't know. <laughs> Can you get my Nike thing out of the top drawer in there on the left side and a toothpick on the right side? My head looking like, I don't know, classy, classy people. Send you away. If you don't take it, then I'm going to take it. Cool. That that's just my what, but I I I the top drone left that he had a plan all along. The I believe the plan was let me get you out of my sight, send you away. If you don't take it, then I'm going to take it. Cool. That that's just my 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 um, story on that or how I analyze it. So I'm like, well, I leave. I'm thinking, well, where where could he go? Like you got dropped off over here, unless you know. You're plotting. You you were plotting the whole time. So I go to the store and for some reason, my service on my phone, because I have an alarm system, I have sensors on every window and every door. For some reason, it did not notify me when he left. So uh, let's say I left at 817. I believe that was the timestamp from my garage door opening 817, me putting down the garage, literally driving around the corner going in the store to grab what I need to come back. And the police report said I went grocery shopping. When you hear grocery shopping, you in there for a minute. I was in there all of like seven minutes. I went directly to what I needed to go to. Go I ahead. don't I don't mean to pause you again on, um, but I'm just gonna just pause for a quick second. You know, it's it's getting it's getting quite interesting. You know what I mean? Cause this is really where the main, I think, you know, moment is for everybody right but before we do that you know there's about almost like there's over 450 people in here go ahead and hit that like button you know what i'm saying because i know there's some tea being spilled tonight you know i know mr armstrong is out here and she, she's giving it to us straight like you know some people are having a hard time understanding what's going on but you know I, you know she, she's telling you how she felt you know what i mean um some people may have it hard to to believe that 
you weren't head over heels over Andre. But then in reality, you know, if we all step back and take a moment, it really wasn't much of a person to be head over heels for. You see her face? Because <laughs> that's true. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to be rude in any way. You know, when no, we're just you're looking at. Rude, you're being honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be honest, honest. You know, yeah, when and we it, take a look at everything that was going on in his life, but you still paid problem. attention. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I um, mean, he's a cool, he's a cool guy. I won't take, even though he did what he did to me, I will not take away from him. He was cool. And then I was like, I don't want to mess that up because how often do you come across cool people? It's not very often. You get what I'm saying? So, I was not head over heels for him. I mean, like I said, I was on my healing journey. I had to heal. I had a really bad breakup. You know, I had to seek help for me. Damaged people hurt innocent people. And I believe that strong heartedly. So I didn't want to get in a place or a space to where I'm misleading. And that's not really what I really want. Like I said, from the gay, I'm very honest. I'm very honest. I'm not a liar. I'm not going to see me and lie. Because at the end of the day, I take care of me. I do this for me. I have children. I, I'm a black woman. I'm a figure here in town. I, I speak before people and this, that, and the other. So my image is, is very, very, very important. Very important. But we were just cool. We wasn't in no relationship, you know? Latrice, I believe you want to say something? No, uh, you know, I'm just listening to her as well. Um, and it just seemed to me, it just seems like your heart was big. So even though he had all of that going on, it's like, I'm one of those people that I see somebody has a, have a lot going on. I always want to help. I always want to fix. And even- I used to, and now I don't because of shit like this, they'd be the ones to burn you. And I, I don't understand, but it ain't for me to understand. And though he had all the homelessness and he was losing everything. If I can fix him a, a meal, I'm going to fix him a meal, you know, whatever it takes to, you know, to get him to try to feel better. Is that what you're trying to say? Like what yes. you were trying to do? He had lost everything. So let me at least, if I can give him something to eat. Right. Yes, ma'am. That's just who I am. I'm a, when, when you, when you, when you look at who you are and your purpose in life, you you have to understand who you are as an individual we are there are some of us that are helpers and then we have some that are takers i'm a helper i help people that's my nature that's in my zodiac sign i was raised to help i'm the oldest child out of i don't know how many children. you gotta be a leo children you get what i'm saying so that's what i'm programmed to do that's we help I'm, people for no damn reason i'm programmed that's all i know and mm-hmm. like Trees, I don't know you from a can of paint, but I'm going to treat you with most love, most respect. Trees, you want a glass of wine? Come on, have a mm-hmm. seat. Come on, have a seat. Uh, you know how old people, used, elder people yep. used to do it back in the day? That's me. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's me. That's who I am. Everybody loves me. Everybody loves coming over. Everybody loves hanging out with me because I am just that genuine type of person. I never look for nothing in return. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, God the day is gonna bless me. <laughs> so that's just who <clears throat> I am. I didn't know much about the homelessness, but I started putting two and two together. You got shoes tied on your backpack. You want to wash some clothes over here? You want to take a shower? So something's not adding up. You get what I'm saying? Up until he was like, uh, he got a phone call. Hey, can you, uh, I guess he make beats or whatever. Somebody called and said, can you make me a beat? He was like, hey, bro, I'm, I'm like practically homeless right now. So I looked over. Oh, you ain't going to be able to stay here because you're not moving in here with me. I'm the king and the queen of this castle until I find a husband. Okay. I'm not doing that. You get what I'm saying? Well, speaking about that, you know, the, the chat was asking if he's ever lived with you. Um, If not, I think you've clarified that. No, you, you're not doing no. that. Um, no, would I you lived with a man since 2016. All right. Now, would you like to share perhaps, you know, for a typical, like, did he just come spend the day with you most times or was there a couple nights? No, or? it was never spending the night. So I, I want to iterate that. It's given, like, uh, she's making it clear. Well, now it's clear because at first I'm like, <laughs> but I think that, um, 
he had good conversation and quite frankly, she ain't want nothing else from him. He was good company for a little while, but she's so damn nice. It seemed like she'd be like, oh, I know I got to go do this, but I'm going to talk to him for a while because he might need me to talk to him and just being nice, but not really understanding like what's actually going on here. And I think that, you know, bitter in the back is, is what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Never spend a night. That day that this incident happened was the longest time we've had ever spun with each other, ever. Um, typically, when he comes into town, it's just come by, see you real quick. Hey, maybe an hour or two, and then he's on his way. I'm doing my thing. You know what I mean? It was never no situation where he came over consistently like that or he lived with me. Mm -mm. So Sabrina, who's a subscriber, um, shout out to Sabrina, um, wanted to say that's a uh, woman who was raised to be respectful um, until disrespected, right? Um, she's also left people in her house um, while, you know, there and, and went somewhere, you know? Um, but, you know, I don't right. think there's any, you know, some people <clears throat> might question the whole leaving somebody or whatever, but you said these are, this is like, I guess maybe at this point, about a year, year and a half of you knowing him um, right. or, or, you know, speaking to him and, and getting to know him and things like that, right? So anyways it's you and him you know it's what you decide to do um now the other aspect that maybe we should kind of touch base on because maybe it, it helps explain things i don't know but i just thought about it right because when you and i were speaking you know you said this property was also a sense of your security because this was a new place that you moved to all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. so you know while some people might think oh my god that's scary leaving somebody in your place you know, you going through and feeling the way you've been feeling, maybe you felt extra safe having Andre there for the night or for the evening, right? So it wasn't, was it really, you know, a concern of you being like, oh my God, this person's in my place? Or is it more so like, oh, I'm good, I'm good, you know, like I'm chilling, right? <laughs> um, I came from like some rowdy places. I've lived in the hood, right? And um, I elevated. When I say that, my car changed, my, my environment changed, the people I've dealt with changed my apartment from a home change so i needed the protection because i heard that somebody was going to set me up to be robbed because i went from from this to, to this I, I don't know what it is about me i don't know because i try to keep myself together everybody think i have money so i word was on the street that i was going to be robbed so i <clears> got <throat> you know um something to just give me that little bit of protection went and got protection for myself and this food and stole it and being that I didn't know the neighborhood where I stayed at and I didn't know who was watching, um, I didn't know. So I had that in my home. I made sure when I moved in, before I even moved in, I had the security system set up. I've had the, the camera set up because where I stay at, it's pretty big. And um, I just wanted to be sure that I covered myself in case there was an intruder. If I went haywire, that's, that's just what I did because you came into my personal space. So um, that's why I had the thing out, you know, the personal possession out or property out. It wasn't to show off. I'm not a show off type of person. I don't even, I, everything in my house have a place. You get what I'm saying? I have OCD real bad. So everything has a place. Everything has a storage. So when that had happened, I was like, oh, you took it because I know where I keep everything at. You get what I'm saying? So as I see the comment, he ain't supposed to be round one. You're right, but he carried one. He didn't care about what he wasn't supposed to do. He did it. Right. So why <laughs> Hello? should I feel sorry for you because you can't be around one? That's on you. That has nothing to do with me. Just like when you when he walked in the room, he could have walked out and left. I'm not finna put nothing up in my house because at the end of the day, it's my house. Right. She can't be how she go so right back to what she was doing. To, sorry, Tracy had a follow up question. No, I was gonna say that's exactly what I said on the show. You know, you shouldn't have to. That's your house. You shouldn't have to. And if someone comes into my house, they need to respect what what's you know what's my property and it's my house. Point blank in all the periods. I should now I do want to let you guys know. Go ahead, hit that like button. We will give an opportunity at some point closer to the end of the show for some of the guests that we do know um or or know of to jump up and ask some questions if they wish um you know so hopefully you're somebody in the chat that we know and you've been commenting and we kind of see your drift because we want to make sure that anybody who comes up is respectful just you know we can have a, a healthy conversation but just definitely be respectful that's a little bit closer to the end so for those who are wondering why is he not dropping the Streamyard link 
Um, that is why, because it's most important. The reason why Miss Armstrong is here, so that way she can yeah, get I'm her cold. side out. You know, <laughs> mm -hmm. I know I'm kind of interrupting here and there, nonetheless, to do what I got to do as the host. But at the end of the day, I want to make sure that she feels comfortable and she feels that you know she was able to to get her story out before we start, you know, adding any type of extra distraction. No offense, chat. Um, but I think you guys know what I mean, right, Trace? Yeah, yeah. And so I want to ask this. So now we get let's let's fast forward. You get back home and you notice that your property is gone. Missing. How do you get to the point? Yes, that it's missing. How yes. do you get to the explain your thoughts and how you got to the point where you called the police? Okay. So when I came home, I'm looking for him. I don't see him. I look at my phone. I don't see no notification that any door was open. I go in my room. I look on the dresser. I don't see it. I'm looking for him. I can't find him. I'm looking. In seven minutes. <clears throat> it shouldn't be nowhere because I left it there. So I'm calling him, texting him. Hey, where you at? Where did you go? Where is my stuff? Oh, you tripping. I'm tripping. Baby, let me tell you something. Yeah, I'm going to trip over that. I'm going to trip over that because at the end of the day, you why do niggas say that? Like, oh, you tripping? You took my shit. <laughs> I never took it, and it's registered to me. So if anything come back, my name is on that. I have to explain. So I say, look, you got until nine thirty to bring me my personal property back. If not, I'm calling the police, and I mean that with all my heart. Because people with those hurt innocent people, or you got a target, or you have a motive, and it's not going to be nothing that came from me, and especially if it's registered, and there's fingerprints on that and that to make it boom, no, you need to bring me my stuff back. So he talking about, oh, you tripping, you mad because I left. I'm mad you left with my stuff. I don't care. About okay. You. We're not together. We're not in a relationship. You're not really anything to me in, in that sense for you to sit here and come at me like that. So 9.30 come. 9.1. No, actually, the, the non-emergency number, I'll call him. I'll call him. I said, I would like to report my uh, stolen from my home. So um, I'm calling him. I'm texting him. I'm blowing him up. He's not answering. He not responding. I'll be back. I'll be back. I got to go make a play real quick. Oh, okay. So when I hear play, it's one of two things. And out of those one or two things, one of them ain't good. And you left with my, okay, cool. So when I called 911, I ended up going to sleep because I was just so upset. I was so frustrated. I was so <clears throat> irritated. I would have been so pissed. Okay. I was in disbelief because I allowed you in my home when I didn't have to. I low key felt sorry for you when I didn't have to. So you do this, I'm, I'm gonna do you one better. I'm finna report you because I gave you until 9.30 to bring what you took from me back and you didn't do that. So um, when the police officer came, I gave my statement. And I said, you wouldn't even believe whose brother this is. He was like, who? I said, blue face brother. And he said, are, are you serious? I said, yes, I'm serious. He said, wait, his brother got money. I said, that's his brother money. Don't tie him up to none of that. You don't have to act like this. Like if you needed money, I'm sure your family would not help you. I don't know the backstory on that, but. He ain't getting no help. I'm sure. You well. His mama got him a car and he sold it. Trifling ass nigga. You could get some type of help. Then was complaining about the year of the car. So that's what led up to BPD being called. Um, To this police report, I really didn't like how the detective made it seem as if Andre. So I think this is where everybody's getting my boyfriend, my boyfriend. First of all, he was my boyfriend. Why did he need to steal from me? Because in this police report, I did say that he was homeless. Any man of mine is not going to be homeless. We're going to work together as a team. And you would have not need to steal from me. 
because it's the way you're going to have yours too. We're going to protect each other together. So that's what led up to the police being called because he did take something of mine that was registered to me. I even showed the officer the receipt when I purchased it, the background check and all this and all that. I'm not sure if everybody knows there is a, pro there is a process that you have to go through to conceal one of these. And they don't give it to you right away. I had to wait a total of, I believe, 14 days before I can pick it up. The firearm? I worked very hard for that. Hell yeah. I deserve that. That is mine. So yeah, let me you, cut this arrow. from a store. Free. That's what they doing. Oh. They calling the law too. So what was wrong with me protecting myself and calling the police behind what he did? There's nothing wrong that I did. I'm protecting myself. And at the end of the day, it was registered to me. Yep, I understand that. I carry many licenses. You know, like I said, I speak before people. I work with youth. I do all type of stuff around here in this community. I don't want nothing coming back to me to where mm -hmm. I have to explain. Well, there was a <clears throat> people were injured. We found this. Mm -hmm. This belongs to you. Right. <clears throat> oh no, I'm covering my tracks. I no, I called him. Mm -hmm. She ain't wrong for that. I mean, like, she ain't no uh she's a pedestrian. Why are they trying to act like she belongs to the streets or something and can't you know what I'm saying? Like I have this here. But what yep. I was upset about was what I was upset about was how they kept saying this is my boyfriend. That's not my boyfriend. I ain't had a man since 2016. Like real talk. And then I went grocery shopping. So it made it seem like I was gone for a lengthy time. When I left my home, Trees, Andre left three minutes right after I left. Uh -huh. He literally left right after I left. Andre texted me like a couple of minutes right before I got back saying, hey, I'll be back. I got to make a play. I said, hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm literally at the light. He was already gone. Wow. He was already gone. Hey. So, so do you think that he saw? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, do you think that he had already seen the property and had already had it, had a plan to, you know, remove it? <clears throat> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, I, I believe he had a plan from the gate when he noticed that I was moving around the house and wasn't even really tripping about it sitting there um i believe he had a plan he had a person of motive once again if you're dealing with someone who's homeless and i even asked her if, and i know we got to keep it pg-13 i asked him and if y'all can read in between the lines was you dibbling and dabbling in something else because why did you lose everything like what's going on with you you have to be on something he on that shit. went from this down here for what? He's trying to blame his baby mama took everything. All along, bro, you married. And you making me, you put me in a mistress position. And I, I don't even want this role. And he you ain't even. Saying? So, yeah, the, yeah, I caught the police. He didn't take everything. He never had anything. Police. Now, I want to clear something up, too. I'm not spiteful. I'm not bitter. I'm not evil. I'm not upset the man has a wife. Because at the end of the day, that woman said I do to him and his problems. That has nothing to do with me. I am protecting me and my peace and the things that I worked hard for. So I don't want nobody to sit here and think that I called the police because he went back to his wife. Good as he should. He should have never been at my house. Had I known he was married, Dre would have never stepped foot in my house. I'm good. I want to meet you and your wife because we had a friendship. It, was, it wasn't like that. So that's why I'm getting on here today and I'm clearing this up because I, I come second to nobody. If, if, if I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Like I said, I'm honest. Do y'all know how many messages I get a day? Men want me. They 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 want me to be their mistress or they want me to do that little, if y'all can see what I'm saying, I'm good. I don't, I don't live that type of lifestyle. And I don't appreciate what I'm going through right now because he took something from me that I worked hard for. I mean, I hear that, you know, like there's a lot of people in the chat, you know, really speculating on, you know, the reason why you would have done it. And, and you know, 
And I think just the reason alone that it's your, you know, property, it's in your name is, is, you know, a good enough. And the only reason really, you know, um, and do- you're not a fucking, you're not a gangster. You a pedestrian. What are we talking about? Good alone, you know, whether or not there was other, you know, thought processes that occurred, you know, beyond that, I just think that alone is a good enough reason to kind of right. report something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm here in the chat, you know, I don't know if the chat's being messy or they just want the tea really served tonight, you know? Um, so I get it because, you know, I think they're having a hard time of like, you know, wondering, I guess maybe this is a good question to ask. How about this? You know, before this property issue happened, right? Did you see, you know, a potential of you and Dre, you know, getting serious at some point, or was this just a, you know, no. for you? That's going to be a hard no for 10,000, please. She didn't want that man. That I never wanted a relationship with Dre on that level. <laughs> I don't want yeah. to be. Not- and let me say this. I don't know his family like that. And with that type of fame, it comes with a different life and a lifestyle. I don't partake in that. The things that I speak upon, mentoring young women and things of that nature, I I don't want it. I want no parts. I had no issue. Thank you, Tamara. I, I have no problem with being in the back as a friend, being supportive. I didn't want to be with Dre. And I definitely was hesitant on meeting him due to the fact that he told me Blueface was his was his brother. Not knocking Blueface. If it was Snoop Dogg or this person or that person, I didn't want no parts. I, I just don't want no parts. I never looked at me and Dre's little friendship as something that was going to be a big thing in the future. Not at all. Now there is a question that the chat, you know, I don't know if it's the same person, but I did see it come up, you know you know multiple times but for for some they wanted to know you know why you felt it was appropriate or the need to mention um you know that that this was blueface's brother to the police like i i i kind of have my own you know reason why i feel somebody may mention that you know what i'm saying but for yourself at this point you know um at the time everything going on you know why did you feel that was a need to mention it um more of a sense of humor like how dare this person related to this person stoop this low to do this to little bitty o me hmm. that's why i shared it and regardless of the fact of who who it is who who he's related to he was wrong for what he did i can't believe this is still a conversation about <clears throat> why she did whatever it is that she did I feel like we can't get all the way through the story. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I mean, and I agree with that, right? If it, you know, allegedly if that's what occurred, I would a hundred percent agree. Right. Um, also, you know, I thought to myself, maybe you mentioned it because, you know, sometimes, you know, when people are dealing with police and when they're dealing with, you know, what might be considered, you know, a bit more high profile type individuals, you know, it might be something that, that you want to mention, you know, that, Hey, this is, you know, but I don't really think it should matter, you know, cause I don't, you know, Thinking about, it, I don't know how people would react, how a police officer may react to that, you know. But I think maybe they should just know the person as the person. But right. but you chose to do it, the you know, for the reasons why you chose. And at that point, hey, you know, you're feeling whichever way, so you decided to do what you did. You know what I'm saying? On, um, I just wanted to ask that question because the chat really, you know, they were really curious about it. Uh, Latrice, do you have some? Well, I wanted to. I don't know if you wanted uh, to touch on the. Um fact you know of when we did the last show you know and some in the you know in the chat um and some of the viewers were saying that your claim was perhaps because you were you know a scorned woman or trying to get back at the race and uh you know i didn't know if you want you wanted to address that i'll address it again like like i stated from the beginning i never knew andre was married once again, have- all right, we repeating at this point. Um, y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. I'm sorry, I had to cut on the heater. <laughs> now I look like I'm about to go skiing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, Dre, something wrong with him. Okay. Oh, he just a damn nuisance he he was locked up for a very 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 long time so i feel like um 
he's still kind of living that, like, I don't want to say, like, bad boy life, but, like, not a good one. You know, <laughs> he's not being as honest as he can be. He's just not being who he claimed to be the last time we seen him on this here internet. Okay, on Beyonce's here internet as well, so. <clears throat> Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, child. This is just a lot. Um, yeah. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.